Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are starting level 2-1 here right now. Here we go. It is a water world. Well, kind of. Uh, there appears to be qu quite a bit of land separating us from the water, so it looks like we won't be getting wet anytime soon. If you go down here, you can get a little soft drink. It is actually like some sort of water bottle of some sort. So, or maybe it's juice. I don't know what its contents are, but it recovers two of your life. Uh, these coconuts, when you walk underneath them or go near them, like, they'll fall off the tree and explode. They are... Ah! Don't do that! Don't you dare do that. They are quite powerful. Well, they... Well, I guess they're not that powerful compared to bombs, which I'll show you later. But the, the, the bomb blast looks like the kind of bombs that are that are powerful, that really knock you back. But I want this sword power to get through this level. You know how much I love my sword if you've seen my Kirby... Oh, no, 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 no! My Kirby Superstar walkthrough way, way back in the days. I'm talking, like, coming up to two years now. Uh, so, well, maybe it's like a year and a half or so, but still, that's a pretty long time. No, maybe a year and three quarters, I don't know, but is this already at the end of the stage? Wow. That was a very long stage. Uh, 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 yeah, that was sarcastic. So, let's go to the next one, 1-2. One You'll notice the door closed itself nicely, and there's a little race minigame here. Um, all you have to do to gain speed is press A to grind the rails. Just hold A until you see a spiky black portion of the rail, and then just let go right before it, and then press the A button right after it, and you'll get a little speed boost. Uh, if you do it correctly. It's kind of... Oh, oh, no, no, no! It's kind of tricky to get the timing right, but you can do it. See, I got the timing right there. Got See that grate that appeared on the screen? That is the key. And we got some awesome music going on here. It is... Ah! I think that was Green Green's music going on. It was like a remix of Green Green's. But I got gold and I got first place! Woo! Three one-ups for the win! Next stage! 2-2! Two -two. And well, look at that! Pigs can fly! What do you know? Kill them. Oh shoot! That Waddle Dee was an excellent door guard, I have to say, before his death. And I'll destroy that. Those bombs, as you've seen right there, if they're attached to a block, they will destroy all the blocks or chains, whatever you want to call them, that are attached to each other. Just like that. And going up to the next area here, we are in some sort of weird... I don't, I don't know. It's like a feel, but it's like... Dead grass field because the coloring. I, I don't know. It's it's kind of silly. Maybe it's like a no. It, it couldn't be a desert because there's a plant growing right here. It's got a spiral top there, and this wheel guy is not hard whatsoever. You just gotta swing your sword at him and fly above him when he runs towards you. I should say rolls towards you. And oh, wait, get this guy right here. You, yeah! And now you can just glide through this area, or I should say roll through this area without any trouble whatsoever. This entire area was designed for the wheel! Woo! Yeah! So much fun when the wheel, I mean, when the stages are set up for the wheel like this. And that's the end of the stage! Wah! Second, dang it! Oh, I want first! Perhaps one day I shall get it. Number three is down there. Looks like another bomb minigame is here, so let's give it another shot. Let's see how successful I will be. Come on, baby, I can do this. I want myself some lives. Well, I should say I want to win myself some lives. Oh yeah, one's already down. Yellow was the one that hindered me last part. Ugh. This time it's between green, red, and PK Gam. Oh yeah. Kirby clones are going down. By the way, that uh, computer that was already out there, off to the right side, the yellow one, it will never miss the bomb if a bomb is passed towards it. So just keep that in mind that you're that the, it will always get passed no matter what. So you, you can always expect it to keep the game going if the bomb. Oh, I won! Yeah! If the bomb gets passed to one of those already beat computers. Yep, the prize for first place is three one-ups. Man, I got 11 lives already. Whew. Level three, or I should say two dash three, here we go. And uh, I've got near full health, so this should go pretty well. That is a bottomless pit. Do not fall into the bottomless pits, because down is death. 
always remember that? Oh, I want the sword, please. Yeah, baby! Gimme, gimme, gimme! And what's in here? Do I want to get what's in here? Uh, wait. Do I want your UFO? Um, do I? Well, this is an interesting power here. You fly through the air and you got the beam like if you were a Waddle do, and you can kind of like hover in the air like that. Uh, but is that a power that I want? I don't know. This is kind of awkward to use, actually, to be honest. Um, so, let's just check around here and... Oh, I can use it underwater. That's pretty nice. So, I suppose if... if Kirby doesn't look like that he's- Oh shoot, I lost my power. If Kirby doesn't look like he's in scuba gear, you can usually use his power underwater. Uh, let me out of it, thank you. And what- what- why is there this Gordo enemy down there? Is he like guarding that corner or something? Because I know there's no secrets in this stage to find, so what the poop? Ah! No, don't you dare do that. And oh wait, if I had the sword, I could have gotten through there and got that one up, but eh. I lost my sword, but that's okay. And continuing on, oh, whoa, I was almost trapped there. Oh, I'm, I'm still almost trapped there, and somehow I survived. Yay! That makes me quite a happy little pink puffball. Maiden Knight, what are you doing here? He's sending his army after us with their incredibly powerful attacks and nearly invincible defense of, you know, just being able to be sucked in. So I guess this boss isn't really hard that after all. It's actually not much of a boss anyway. It's just like a little enemy spawn room. So yeah, I was just basically mocking that the whole way because it's incredibly easy. And I want that water bottle, despite it being submerged in the water. Or I should say juice bottle. Maybe that's what's in it. Maybe it's juice. Maybe that's why you recover your health. It's some sort of vitamin water to make you all happy. Because otherwise, if it was a water bottle, you would probably recover your energy just by being in the water. Just like Mario 64 coming to the surface. Oh man, I just have to point out these plot holes all over the place. But I don't recommend that you don't... I mean, I don't recommend that you question the game logic. Otherwise, the universe might implode. So I'm just pointing these things out. I'm not exactly questioning it. And these pigs are humping the wall. Dang it. This is not a kid-friendly game. I've said it before. Uh, this is just terrible all over the place. And, oh, oh, oh I, I, I accidentally, I mean, I accidentally was pointed the wrong way, but I still sucked the enemy in properly. And gimme. Thank you. And I would really like that maximum tomato, and I'm going to get that maximum tomato if my life depends on it. Well, because it kind of does def depend on it. I only had two lives left. Oh, I should say two hits left. And uh, I should mention, if you are sucking in a power in midair and you're falling, you cannot, uh, su I should say, you cannot absorb the power and you cannot float. You cannot glide or anything like that. So choose wisely when you grab that power back. Or I should say when you try and grab a power. And Clock Guy is almost, I should say he's already over. And I will take your power. This is the mic power. I'll show you how this works in the next room. If you, if there's a bunch of enemies in the room, it's kind of like the crash in a way, in that it kills them all at the same time. But it kills three times as opposed to the crash powers one time, so that's extremely handy. They can, I mean, this mic power can also blow up these little bombs, or at least I thought it could. I guess it can. Uh, well, I learned something new. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't you dare shoot at me, cannon. <sighs> oh, I'll just leave my power behind. I'd only have one more use anyway. What's in this door? I kind of forgot. Uh, just a bunch of waddle dudes with a soda or vitamin water in it. Whatever you want to call it. Oh shoot, this is guarding. Well, I'll take one hit to gain two hits, so there we go. And I got the beam power as well. It's kind of slow to use, but it's good nonetheless. So we're running around the world here. And I should, oh, hey, I should say just the stage. What the heck? Turn around, Kirby, when I tell you to turn around. Do not go slowly against my commands, or you will die, literally. You must obey my button presses. Well, that's the end of that stage. Whew. And next up... Oh, there's another uh, enemy gallery there. Oh, there's a door that's closed down there. I could probably open that later. Oh, there's fire and laser in this one. Uh, I wonder how I can open that door. It'll probably open by itself. Oh, wait, no, I already did that one before. Whoops, my bad. Um, this is an arena. You battle a boss for, um, for a maximum tomato. And, yeah, that's basically it. 
That really is it. Stop mooning me, Mr. Walrus Guy! And I will take your frozen power and the maximum tomato. And look how cute he is like Eskimo Kirby. That is just so adorable. <laughs> and over here is number five. Let's go! Let's see if I can get this. Ah, shoot! No, don't steal my enemy carcass! And uh, those cannons only hurt you when they're shooting, so try to avoid them when they're shooting, you're just saying. But otherwise, you can touch them normally um, when they're not. And whoa, wait, wait, isn't there a, a juice over here? Yes, there is, okay. Energy water, gotta love it. So, actually, I, I never really had an energy water, but that, that stuff has got pretty popular. It's gotta be pretty flavorful or something like that. Oh, there's something down here, isn't there? Uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, I got it. Oh, I, I made it, I can't believe that. And there's a door here. Oh, no, 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 I don't think so. Whoa. Um, no ambushes allowed, thank you, Gordo. And there we go, I got my vitamin water. And through the door we go. And you can use your puff of air like that to destroy these bombs. Blink. And oh my god, Waddle D ambush from above, even though it was on the camera, so it wasn't much of an ambush. And. Down here is a sword, but wait, wait, I actually do want that sword for this. Oh, wait, I can take this guy's sword. Yeah! And over here is a little boss. You're gonna wanna go in here if you wanna one up. Uh, no, wait, there isn't a boss in here, my bad. So take this burning power up, and you'll see out here there's uh, a one up. No, 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 no! There's a one up guarded by some mysterious metal blocks here. That can, These can be destroyed by the burning power. And then there's another one up over there. So that's great for your replenishing supplies, as well as getting this one up, because you can go right through the normally invincible Gordo enemies. Ah, don't do that. And wait for it. There we go. Let's go in the door. And, oh, high jump power. I want this to demonstrate it. Press the B button. Boing! Woo! As long as you're... Oh, shoot. As long as you're jumping upwards, you're invincible. That's the power of the high jump. Yeah! Or at least I think you're invincible. Uh, maximum tomatoes with that Poppy Brother Jr. there. Uh, if you suck him in, you'll get the effects of the maximum tomato. And that's the end of the stage, and just a boss to go, and that'll be the end of World 2 already. Woo! Dink! Uh, wait, what is this? Oh, this is the world change door. I'll just show you this. See, if you, if you go on this warp star here, you can go to the numbered world, yeah, like that was number one, and that takes you to level one, and number two will take you back to level two. And as you progress through the game, more and more of those warp stars will be available to you. So up here is the boss. I believe this is Paint Roller. Yep. And I don't think the high jump Whoa! will be of much assistance here. So I'm just going to go and shoot it right at Paint Roller there. Don't you dare paint an umbrella to attack me. And uh, whenever you see Paint Roller move, what you want to do is kind of get to the corner of the room on the same level that he's at. Because he, yeah, you do something like that to avoid his attack. He's kind of predictable if you stay in the middle. And, uh, like I just did right there. I shouldn't have did that. I should have just went to the corners. I was, oh my god, Kirby! Uh, if you, you can eat them, so you can be like a Campbell Kirby. Oh, no, 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 that was way too fast. You're not allowed to move that fast. Um, a bomb. I could use that to kill you. Yeah, paint roller is done. I got the wand. And that's the end of level two. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Do the Kirby! Woo! Level 3 is butter building. That's what we're gonna do next. See you then! Oh my god, no! Woo!